All right, what's good, guys? It's your boy Black Lightning forty five forty seven. This video is for lightning strike, but if you also don't know how to wire a speaker strobe, then feel free to chime in. As um, this is a tutorial on how to wire up speaker strobes. Um, now this is what you're gonna need. You obviously need your speakers or your speaker strobes. Um, and in this case, he specifically wanted me to wire a SPS um cwl um but he has an sps uh cw um which i also have and that's basically the predecessor of this l series right here that's the advanced series this is the newer l series um you gotta need a pull station if you want to trigger uh, the strobes with a pull station or you can just put it straight to a battery sync module if you have synchronizable strobes which these are synchronizable your battery you're gonna need hella wiring your audio source it could be amplifier it could be a um voice vac panel um it could be mp3 player module and just an audio source that will output audio to the speakers um obviously you're gonna need your tools a screwdriver um phillips preferably um wire uh strippers if you need to strip your wire or cut your wire that's just some bits if you need you know to change your bit and obviously we got the amplifier right here and then obviously the adapter to power the amplifier so let's go ahead and start uh, with the tutorial now this is my older raggedy amplifier but it still does work and um yeah so right here on this particular amplifier there's two connectors um these for your um for the speaker left side speaker and the right side speaker um we're just gonna be wiring essentially the left sided speakers so here's your this is what your wire is gonna look like it's just black and white now it could be red and black for your amplifier but all you need to know is your black is your common, okay? Also known as your negative, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these right here. If we will focus in, we're gonna take these and then we're gonna put it onto the speaker strobe. Ow. Now, first, what you're gonna need to do is obviously since there's a mounting bracket, on here and uh since we need to take off the mounting bracket you gotta take your screwdriver and you gotta go ahead and just screw this uh off the mounting bracket all right since we got that accomplished for both the l series and the advanced speaker strobe it's gonna reveal your terminals now let's go ahead and look in depth um so your left side is uh terminals since there's a speaker symbol right next to it, these are for your speakers. Okay, so as you can see, there's a one negative in and out and a positive, two separate uh, terminals for positive in in the middle and positive out on the right. Okay, now this is just for supervision. If someone were to take this off the mounting bracket, it would put the voice back panel into trouble, which will also put the main control panel into trouble. Um, the right-sided, as you can see, is like a flash symbol. These is for your strobes. It's the same deal, okay? So this is what you're gonna do, okay? It keeps going out of focus, I apologize. You're gonna take your black, okay? And you're gonna apply it to your negative side terminal. Now I'm going. To, I'm going to go ahead and wire both speaker strobes, so you can get the idea. Just like that. See, you get you take your in from the auto your output from the audio source into here, and then you get to put another wire in the same terminal, and this will go to there onto the next speaker or speaker strobe which i'll demonstrate just like that okay 
What you're gonna do next, okay, is you're gonna take the white wire or in your case the red wire and this is your positive, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and apply it onto your middle terminal of the speaker. Now, you're not gonna do the same thing here. Um, you're out to the next speaker is actually gonna go here. And I'll show you that shortly. Just like that, okay? And then this red wire right here, you see this? I'm sorry for it keep going out of focus, but you, you see the red wire though. This red wire is gonna go to the middle terminal to the next alarm. So, like this, like that, okay? Now, if this speaker strobe is your last line, device on the line, if you have a voice back panel, you would put a resistor across the negative and the last positive terminal. But since we're just doing a regular setup, and of course this is not supervised by anything, um, as it's not meant for, for our alarm speakers like that, but it still will work, um, we're not gonna put a resistor on the last device on the line, okay? So, essentially our speakers are now already wired up. But if you want to also wire the strobes, maybe you should go ahead and show you how to do that too. It's just the same procedure, okay? And now if you're gonna use a pull station, let me go ahead and show you how to wire a pull station. Oh yeah, before I forget, make sure you feed the wires behind the mount mounting bracket. Um, to make sure you don't have them on top of it. Or else if you, once you put the alarm on, it will not fit correctly or it will pinch the wire, which will cause a um, lot of problems. So make sure you have the wires both going in and out um, or behind the mounting bracket or behind the alarm, all right? So when you put the alarm on, it doesn't pinch the wire. So let's go ahead and show you how to wire a pull station. In this case, we're gonna wire up the M uh, MDL. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is how you wire up a pull station. You're gonna take two positive wires. Um, usually it's gonna be red or it could be brighter um, yellow. Usually the brighter colors indicate positive in the darker colors, such as blue or black indicate negative. So just you're, you're gonna take two bright colored wires and you go ahead and put it on the terminals on the back of the pole station. Just like that. Now this is what you need to do since we're also wiring up the MDL module. If you do have a sync module, in this case it's, it's the MDL system so under MDL, you're gonna take one of your positive wires and then you're gonna put it into power in. Okay onto one of the terminals, on the positive terminal, okay? Just like that. And then you're just gonna leave this one hanging as this will go to your battery, the positive side of the battery. Now, you already, you're only gonna wire up one side of, of the pull stations, either it'll be on the positive side or the negative side. I prefer positive. Um, you're just gonna hook your negative straight into the power in onto the module um as since this is a in, uh normally closed button or just a switch um this will basically cut the power to the module okay so since the since the switch is on the off position right now or uh normally uh open uh um, if I apply this to the battery and the battery is also in the negatives on the power in, it will, the strobes will not go off until I pull the pull station as that will complete the circuit. And that will essentially go through this pull station, go through that, and then go to the power in onto the module. As I'll demonstrate shortly, but first this is how you wire the positive side up 
to the pole station and on to the module. So let's do the negative side real quick. And it should look like this, okay? Your darker wire goes to the negative side uh, of the battery, and this is what the negative symbol looks like. Let me go in. It's just a slash. This is your positive side, as it has a plus, okay? That's what the positive um, symbol looks like, okay? That goes into the pole station. Okay, one side of the pole station, and then the other side goes on to the positive into the sync module. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to wire up the strobes into the mounting brackets um, by uh, wiring up the NAC 1, zone 1, onto the strobes. So, let's go ahead and do that. All right, just like that. And then it just goes to the strobe just like this. Okay, essentially what we did with the speaker circuit, but we're doing the same thing with the strobe circuit, okay? The output from the sync module goes into the um, negative. This is your negative in and out, okay? So the input goes in and the output um, from here goes in. It's in. And then the middle terminal is your input. The right terminal is your output, okay? And this goes to the next device. And I just realized I forgot to do it with the same thing for the negative, so let me do that real quick. That's what it's supposed to look like. So you gotta take your two wires right here, and you gotta put it to the left and the middle terminals on your next device. So let's go ahead and do so. Just like that, and we're done wiring the alarms. Okay, so it's now just a matter of time I'm plugging in the amplifier. Um, the pull station is already plugged in. And um, get your audio input source, um, which is like, as you can see, there's an aux cord. You know, you plug that into your computer or your phone. Pull the pull station and hit play. Then you're all good to go. So let's go ahead and do so. Oh, yeah, but before I do so, let me talk you about the settings you should have the speaker on. Okay, so since this is not a not rated for uh, 25 volts and 70 volts fire alarm speaker strobes, you're going to realize that it might be a little bit quieter, and it's, it's fine. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be like that since it's not a voice evacuation panel. But this is what you want to have it set on. You, first of all, you want to have your watts or your volts set on 25 or the lowest volts it can go. Okay, because the higher, the more volts it's going to take and the more quieter it's going to get with this type of setup. But it's going to be vice versa if you have a voice back panel. Um, and then your volts, watts. Okay, essentially the power of the speaker um, essentially the volume control. You want that shit all the way up, okay? Put it all the way up to 2 watts or 8 watts, however, um, because it's not going to be as loud as, like I said, a, a voice of speakers on voice evac panels, okay? But that's going to be fine. But as you can, as you can know, it's still going to work, but it's just not going to be as loud, all right? Um, Candela, set it whatever you want, just be uh, cognizant of your voltage or your battery um if it's 27 volts like i said you have like 39 volt batteries then go ahead and put it on all the way to 115 but if you have like 12 um volt batteries or you know less than 24 volts then only 15 and 1575 candela will work on these um the higher the candela the more voltage and current is got to uh the more current the strobe's gonna draw, therefore you need more voltage. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna leave it on 15. But let's go ahead and put the speaker strobes on, plug in the amplifier, get my laptop, and let's get it. All right, everything is set up. The voice vac message is actually my custom made one that I use using Soundtrap right there. And, um, yes, it does have Spanish in it, as yo hablo espanol, y por eso yo escribí 
Uma sahe con espanol. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on the test. As you can see our strobes are flashing in sync. Go ahead and hit the play button. Now, they're still not loud, but you can s still working. May I have your attention, please? There's an emergency in this building. You need to leave the building now and wait for further instructions. Do not use the elevators. Puedo tener su atención, por favor. Hay una emergencia en este edificio. Ustedes necesitan salir del edificio ahora y esperar más instrucciones. No usar los elevadores. And that's it. That's how you wire up speaker strobes. Now you're just going to go ahead and take your keys wherever I put them. Take your key and go ahead and reset the pull station or cut power. I'm just going to reset the pull station because why not? And that's it. Hope you um, guys enjoyed this tutorial. Tutorial. Hope this guy helped you on how to wire up speaker strobes. Um, lightning strike. I hope you happy. I hope you understand the concept. And hopefully this um, works out for you. And hopefully you get a working um, semi voice effect uh, simulation. So without further ado, it's your boy Black Lightning. And I'm out this piece.